for producing and engineering, you know, I love I love making music. I love making records. I love working with sound, and I love the challenge of working with sound. Of course, without any opinions coming my way, I go for the sound I want to go for. Right. Working with other people, they have a vision for their music, and so they might, you know, turn my trajectory in another direction with a certain sound and push me another way, and, and the challenge to get their ears to hear what they want. So all those things combined make it a really cool experience to be able to do. Owning my own studio means I can pump out the productions a lot quicker than maybe the average bear who has to wait to find the funds to get into a studio or to get that creative desire to go into the studio. Here, you know, when I'm not working on work for other people, two in the morning, you know, I may get a melody in my head that's like, I gotta go in there and jot it down, and I go in there and start recording, and an hour later, I've kinda got a new thing going, which starts heading towards another solo album or something, so. Right. So it all it all works towards the craft, you know, production, engineering, and music. It's, for me, it's become one big thing. You know, I don't think of myself as any one aspect of it anymore. It's people say, "Are you an engineer?" It's like, well, I, that too. Sure. <laughs> you what know? do you need? <laughs> exactly. What do you need? Cool. So, yeah. Well, how do how do you feel <clears throat> being um, in a very rare position to have uh, experienced working with all of your musical heroes growing up, mm -hmm. uh, listening to music, Yes, ELP, King Crimson. Genesis um, about the current project we're doing with Sonic Reality where we're taking grooves played by some of these great drummers, drummers yeah. from Rush and Genesis and Peter Gabriel and whatnot, and, uh, and not only are we making music with it, but yeah. every musician out there can now have a taste of this experience that you Yeah. You've well, had. yeah, I mean, essentially, I mean, here's a perfect example because I've worked with a ton and ton of people. But I haven't had the pleasure of working with Neil Peart yet. <laughs> so now here we are with the Sonic Reality drum loops, and I'm working with the Neil Peart drums, which are phenomenal, sound amazing. And, you know, for the average guy out there who's just a Rush fan and wants to jam with Neil, this is the perfect experience because there they are. Those, that's the real deal, played by the real guy. Then for the musician who is looking to be super creative over the top of something like that, you can bend the track and and take those drums and just compose something completely crazy over the top of it, which for any of you looking, check out Trifecta. That's kind of an example of what we've done. I played the guitar as a bass, he did the keys, and we composed a new piece of music over these drums. And so I think for that aspect alone, it's like I've got a dual coolness about it because you know, it's cool to be able to play with your favorite drummer. When I was a kid learning how to play, I played with records. I played to Yes Records and ELP Records and Genesis and Return to Forever and Weather Report. And, you know, now to be able to actually jam with the real tracks, it's, how cool is that? You yeah. Know what I mean, 